Tel Aviv Jaffa, even now, is a fascinating city. It is a really very interesting, in, intense, um, good place to be. Tel Aviv is very rich with many kinds of organizations, struggles, people with ideas. We should see ourselves very lucky that we have all these kinds of energy in the city. We should really, you know, embrace all these organizations and movements and groupings and tell, and tell them, well, we are lucky to have you with us. The current situation is the opposite, you know. The current uh, municipality really views all these organizations and activities as some kind of obstacle. There are these very strange green people who come, you know, and make things difficult. Actually, all these people are the most important thing we have in the city. City Hall is really a fascinating phenomena. It is a... Um, kind of a movement, an urban movement, that was created in Tel Aviv in the recent year. It is based on people who were involved in different struggles in the municipal uh, Tel Avivian level. We have a very strong and uh, developed opinion on the problem of the city, of the problem, on the problems of Tel Aviv, and we want to uh, put forward an alternative to whatever is going on in Tel Aviv Yafo right now. We would like to see Tel Aviv Yafo as more just socially and more green environmentally. We think it is possible without a lot of money but with a different policy to change the social and environmental direction of the city. The world of the 21st century, the city is a very very important arena for the struggle for environmental change. And we can find very interesting examples of changes all around the world that Tel Aviv can learn from, where public transportation is the norm, you know, and the private car is the exception. This is not the situation in Tel Aviv and it can change. First of all, we would like to have a transportation revolution in the city. We should have a very modern, efficient uh, public transportation system in Tel Aviv. Otherwise, we will continue with this uh, transportation crisis we have now, you know, with people do not have a place to park, with traffic jams, with air pollution. What we plan to do is to make rapid routes open for public transportation. We would like to change the bus system uh, which can be done relatively cheaply and, uh, you know, create a network of buses, rapid buses, all over Tel Aviv that will, in a way, persuade the uh, average Israeli uh, to put his car uh, in his house, avoid using it in the city, instead using uh, public trans transportation. This is the key. We should build uh, lanes for bicycles on the streets, on the roads, actually. This is the, this is the proper way. And again, our policy on transportation is first of all public transportation and then bicycles on the expense of the private car. Another very important problem in Tel Aviv is the problem of housing. Many young people are driven out of the city because they cannot really afford to continue living here. This is another thing that the municipality can be involved and can, you know, make a difference. Let us begin with building uh, flats um, that are more suitable to the population in Tel Aviv. Most households in Tel Aviv are very small, so people here need smaller flats, cheaper flats, 
and not the very luxury giant flats that are being built now on these, you know, towers that on Hyundai is really encouraging. Trees are very, very important part of the city. You know, in the urban street, the tree makes a lot of difference. But trees, unfortunately, are not in the center, but in the, you know, very far corner of uh, the planning uh, policy of Tel Aviv. I believe that really good urban plan should begin with the trees. You know, when speaking about streets, when speaking about roads, let us begin thinking about trees. If we begin thinking about trees, we will create good streets and good roads. Another very important uh, issue in Tel Aviv is the issue of democracy and openness of the local administration. As a matter of fact, uh, some people say that uh, Tel Aviv is being run like a kind of an army barracks with an officer or commander uh, as the mayor. And uh, the people's opinion do not really count. This is another thing that we re really very much differ with Ron Holdei. We think that the most important thing in the city is not the streets and the buildings. The most important thing is the people and the communities. And we would like to see the municipality of Tel Aviv as something really different, you know, as a tool of the communities, as the tool of the people, as the voice of the people, as the fulfillment of the need of the local community. Well, of course, I am from the left wing. I am from Hadash, which is a Jewish Arab a political movement. And my worldview is socialist and universalist and so on. Um, and I am for peace with the Palestinians and I am for Israeli Syrian peace and so on. All these issues are very important. Uh, of course, I have my opinions and they are not a secret. But these are not the issues being voted in Tel Aviv. I live in the city. I live in a flat, you know, in a flat in a multi-store uh, house, like the ones you see around here. Um, I uh, try to move in the city with public transportation or with bicycles. Um, you know, and I try to, as Gandhi said, be yourself the change you want to see in the world. So this is how I try to live personally.